Manus, the general agent, is hitting the world by storm. In this video, we'll give the most popular open source version a shot and see if it's any good. The repository we'll have a look at is called OpenManus, and at the time of production, it has nearly 19,000 stars on GitHub. Pretty impressive. One key difference is that it is a command line based agent, but it gives a good base to build upon if you want to try these tools yourself. I will start by making sure I have the UV Python package manager installed. If you're new to Python, this is the most modern way to manage your dependencies and I highly recommend it. I will also go ahead and grab an API key from OpenAI, which will power our features. Now let's clone the OpenManus repo and open it in cursor or VS code if you live under a rock. The first thing I will do is activate my virtual environment, which will serve to isolate my dependencies from my system-wide Python packages. Next, let's activate the virtual env with uv. Let's proceed with installing our dependencies. We will call uv pip install r requirements.txt in our terminal. This will proceed to install the required Python packages into our isolated environment. The last step to configure will be which model we want to use. Here, let's open config slash config.example.toml file. We'll need to copy this into a new file under the same folder and name it config.toml. What you should pay attention to in this file is that we can decide which API provider we can use. The example seems to hit that we can use Cloud Sonnet 3.5. However, from a quick glance at the code, I think this is only using OpenAI as API standard. So we'll put GPT-40 here in our API keys. Now that we're all there, let's go ahead and give it a shot. In a terminal window, we will run python main.py to start it, and we should be ready to have a prompt. I think the first prompt I want to try is asking it for the top 10 YouTube AI channels and to find an email associated with it. Let's see how this goes. After around 30 to 40 seconds, this is looking pretty good actually. I can see this as saving me time and even helping marketers find people to harass on LinkedIn to sell them things. Now let's ask something about coding. Can this do a basic application? Let's open up Manus again and ask it to do a Svelte to-do list. Here we can see the AI agent trying to write a few files, like a package, uh, package.json and an app.svelte file. This is actually a pretty simple task, but the files that it saved look a bit off to me. The code looks right, but this package.json is missing a few things. The first thing I notice is that vit is super out of date at version 2.0, and we're trying to call vit dev without having actually a vit config file. So this is actually not working. Actually pretty surprising for code generated by GPT-40. This could have to be with the prompting system, but overall I would say it's not there yet for coding. We could definitely say that the Open Manus project is a fun experiment, but it does not seem to have the capacities promised by the real Manus. Maybe it is that I'm not using this right, so if it is the case, please let me know in the comments down below, and let me know if you want to have a follow-up on this kind of videos.